at long last. You have freed me. Now, I can finally complete my lord's last request. What the hell? What happened to you? My three companions and I were sent here by the Emperor Tiber's Scepter to discover what evil had defiled the holy catacombs of Sankut. We did not know that the Underkeep, who was Zirin Artis, had risen to take his first revenge upon his former lord. What? The Under King defeated and ensnared us in his evil enchantment and bound us here to guard forever the defiled shrine of Tiber Sentinel. So, wait, who are you again? I was Realus, loyal blade of Emperor Tiber Sentinel. I do not know. It feels like an eternity. Okay, is the Under King still here? No. He departed long ago. But his evil will remain, preventing any from paying homage at the shrine of Tiber Septum. That sucks. Over the uncounted years of our slavery. We have brooded over our defeat. I believe that we can undo the Underkin's evil magic. I go now to complete my duty to my lord, Tiber Septum. Free my brothers, and together we may be able to lift the Under King's curse. Farewell. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't hear a damn thing that guy was saying. Why do you disturb me? I didn't disturb you, I talked to you one time. Ancient Akaviri Katana. Ancient Blades Shield. Amulet of Ansai, fortified block. Neat. Ancient Blades Helmet. Huh. Let's do a little repairing. See, uh, see if those things are actually any good. Maybe they're maybe they'd be better than the modern blade stuff. Let's see. What else have we? What have we got in here? No, it's up here. They're all starting with the word ancient. It's three for the helm. This looks just looks like an ancient, like a really nasty blade helm, huh? A little bit of blood on the back. Not a whole lot going on there. Where are the other ones that I picked up? Or was the weapon right? Sixteen. Seems to be just as good as a new katana. I'm not sure. Hmm. What else did I get from him? An amulet of Ansai, huh? Fortified block? I have a much better amulet than that right now, so... No need to worry. Let's continue forward here. I'm not really sure. This is where we're supposed to go. This is where the marker is sending us, so let's see. The Entry Hall of Sankrator. What the heck's going on in here? We got some bitches. Looks like we got some bitches. Get my frost finger. Oh, these wraiths. Seriously. Get out of my face. Oh, he's resisting my enchantments. That's annoying. Get over here. Oh, am I out of charge? I think it might be. Urgh. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna recharge. I didn't realize I'd ever actually use Azura's, Azura's Star, but wow. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Soul trap 10 feet for 15 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. Soul trap you. And now, oh dang it, man, I'm on a timer here. Finish him off, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. There you go, captured a soul. And he's just gonna hover there. That's fun. Oh, he hit it down into that hall. Alright. I don't know if he actually said this explicitly or not, but our goal now is to find and defeat the other three undead blades in order to bring a bit of peace back to Sankrator by undoing the Under King's evil magic. So let's find one more. Let's 
see. Oh, someone sees me. Don't care. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. No, I'm just kidding. This is the part where I run past, kill the undead blade, and then run right past again. Because a whole bunch of wraiths does not seem like a fun series of fights to me. And although I could use the soul trap, recharge my sword trick, and continue to just rely on the power of the enchantments, I really can't be bothered, and there's nothing for me to gain by killing all these guys. Literally, all I would get from it is more level ups, and at this point, my skills are becoming less good compared to my abilities, so... I have no... no motivation at all, really, to, to try and to fight them. Let's see, where's my frost finger? Here we go. Come here, you. You ready for this? You better get your shit rocked! Yes, the idea is just to kill him as quickly as possible, and then head back into that central room where we can be safe. As you can see, if you'd actually gone through this and fought it for real... Well, dude, he, I block him and he still staggers me? That's ridiculous. There you go. Could use a little block tricking now. So you, you block, and then you hit him. Yeah. Alright, that's two. Anything interesting on his body? One of these guys has a ring, so make sure you check all their bodies. Dude. These wraiths are serious. I should continue to search for the other two undead blades. That's right. Look at these guys. This is annoying. Oh, back we go. <laughs> Look, like throwing spells by me. That's hilarious. Is it just me or does your character seem to move much more slowly when you're in third person? Uh, maybe it's just. I think it's just an illusion, but still. Wait a minute. Is that, is that the way I came in? That is the way I came in. I think. Dun, 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 dun. The way I came in was down here. Through this door. We're right over here. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? See you later. If they follow you through, you kill them. Otherwise, don't worry about it. They're not going to bug you if they're not following you through this doorway. You see, you'll, you'll get the enemies nearby thing, but that doesn't matter. That one out there is dead already. No big deal. As long as you get the other two... The other two blades. Uh, you'll be fine. And so in the next episode, we're going to free the other two blades in Sankar Tor. Er, well, maybe you'll even be in this episode. I don't know exactly how this is going to roll, but I'm not going to commentate these next two. I'm going to do a fast forward. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Begin the montage. Alrighty then, now we are going to head into the final room and see if the blades, the four undead blades, have been able to 
break the barrier of the under king. Yeah, look at these jokers. Four ghosts working together to do something. Never thought I'd be doing this in Oblivion. I'll watch our backs, boys. Oh, something over there went away. Did it work? The ghost of the four cursed blades have dispelled the evil enchantment on the shrine. The way to the armor is now open. Ball in, let's go get it! You know it, 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 you know it. Now check this out. Golden plate armor. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. I have the armor of Tyber Septum. Now to take it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. You think that there'd be something cooler? Tomb of Vermont the Third, the last emperor of the Cyrodiil Scourge of the Dark Elves, who was cruelly slain by treachery in the year 2920. Huh. Interesting. One thing I should note is that on your way out, you're going to want to clear that enemies are nearby warning, because something about this area, these enemies are really persistent. And if you leave this zone with enemies chasing you, they will chase you the width and length of Cyrodiil, and you will never escape them. They will continue to pursue you. I've had skeletons from the outside of Sankrator follow me all the way back to Cloud Ruler Temple and get really pissed the whole way. They, um, you, 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 I couldn't fast travel, first of all, because it said enemies were nearby. Uh, or, or essentially, it was something like, while you're being pursued, I forget. I forget what the exact, how exactly the line was written, but it basically said, you can't fast travel because there's bitches chasing you. That's cheating, you know? And so I just ran back to Cloud World Temple to return the armor, and I got there, returned it to him, finished the quest, and I still couldn't do it. And I had to just stand there and wait, and eventually, they caught up to me. <laughs> and I was able to finally kill them, and then I could fast travel again. But man, what a pain in the ass. Seriously. So make sure that, right before you leave the area, that if you if you can't fast travel back to Cloud Ruler Temple, you need to go back, uh, look around, and, and kill some bitches, because the game is not gonna, isn't the game is not happy with you, and you need to appease it. But uh, I'm gonna zip out of here, as it seems that I'm pretty good, because I'm able to wait. And I'm gonna meet you guys back at Cloud Ruler Temple, and we'll return the armor to Martin. You may also have noticed at some point in that quest that we picked up some interesting items, and we also got a new perk. Our heavy armor skill reached 75. That means that our armor now encumbers us significantly less when we're wearing it. Notice the curious weighs 60 pounds. When I take it off, you see I'm carrying 493. When I put it on, 463. Your gear weighs half as much when you become an expert and, and you're wearing the gear. So if you have some stuff that's really heavy, you can put it on, and it's almost it's it's actually easier to wear your armor than it is to carry it. Uh, the other thing was that we picked up some interesting items from those guys, some unique items. And Mule of Anse is the first one. Uh, these other helmets and things are all the same, basically. And then we've got uh, we got a sh we got a sword and a shield. Let's see, Valdemar's shield, reflect damage, nine percent. That's a nice shield that you can you can use if you don't have the Escutcheon of Coral, because, again, reflect damage. Of course, the Escutcheon of Coral is even better, because it has 35% reflect damage. But still, good stuff. Then you have Northwind, 75 uses, Frost damage on Strike, and it's an Akadri Katana. So it's a very nice sword. Good damage threshold, so enjoy that one when you're a Blade user. Let's go ahead and go in here, and give Martin back the armor of Sancrator. Oh, and if you really want to, you can actually put the armor on. It's a. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're you're able to put it on. It's a, I mean, it's a quest item, but as long as you don't drop it, isn't that cool? It goes really well with that shield. That's so neat, isn't it? Unfortunately, you don't get to keep it. So, dang, Martin, you get all these tables and things, books. My progress on the Mysterium Zarxes is slow, I'm afraid. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? I'm wearing it, bitch. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos's divine blood. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. <laughs> Makes sense. What else should I do for you? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. The third item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in Aelid ruins. 
but a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. The ruins of the Aeliad city have misgarkened. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. Oh, tell me about this place, Miskarkand. The capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms which flourished in Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. Alright. I'll get into Be that in the next video. <laughs> right now, let's see, which one of these is the... The West Wing? Which one has the beds? I think it's the West Wing that has the beds. I'm pretty sure. We'll go ahead and level up again. It's amazing how fast these level ups go, even when you're at a high, a high skill level. And honestly, if you wanted to, I, if I wanted to, I wouldn't. I didn't have. I don't have to take these, but getting my skills up to 100 is is fun. So you see, now strength is at 100%, which is just delightful. So those bonuses put us at 112. We have a couple damage things too. I'll, I'll work on fixing those. All right, this video is getting really long, so I gotta, I gotta cut this one off pretty soon. Let's see, uh, one other thing, yeah, I did show you the unique weapons, I showed you, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Alright, so uh, in the next episode of Let's Play Oblivion, we are going to go and get aid for Bruma, I think we'll do that next. See you guys then.